Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Zapier to WordPress in 2023. Of course, Zapier is a powerful automation tool that allows you to connect different apps and automate like the workflow. And in this comprehensive guide, we will of course like uh, show you or go through the essential steps to integrate Zapier with your WordPress website. So make sure to stick by let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience first we'll have to go and sign up for a zapier account to do so go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with Here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have once you do so make sure to go to this url section and here basically you'll have to type zapier and hit the enter button make sure to click on this first link which is zapier automation uh, that moves you forward so once you click on it of course you'll be taken to their home screen or main page as you can see if you don't have an account of course you'll be able always to start with a free with an email or with google depending on whatever you want of course google will get you through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account you'll be able to do that if you want to and of course if you don't know much about zapier you can always scroll down read more information about this, how you can do the connection and etc so just have some general ideas and familiarize yourself with the website for me i'll just here go up and click at this option which is start free with google as you can see free forever for core features and if you want more apps than any other programs as you can see you'll be able to have that so let's just click on start for free i'll just choose my account here and let's just wait as you can see so create a zap so what you would like to automate of course you'll be able to do that at the moment if you want to create a zap of course this is powered by ai just beta so don't expect much if it helps you that's cool if it did not as i said don't expect much because it's still like in beta and of course as you can see uh, they're even here giving you like an example so as you can see save new leads from facebook lead the ads to google sheets and email me in the lead and gmail example so you can basically do whatever you want as example let's just even use their example here and let's just go sorry and copy that i'll just add an l add less and click on generate here let's see what we are going to get so of course we'll have to wait a bit as an example and the moments of course this creates a zap if you want like to automate something instead like of doing it by your own if you like not interested about this we'll just get into the next point right away so the page was not loading well so i just refreshed the page as you can see and they show me like even this which i need here as an example so as i said let me just show you how to do that example click on generate and as you can see here they will do so it should not take now a lot of time as you can see they are generating so as you can see here uh, change or modify steps below so as you can see they give you two st uh, three steps uh, step one lead facebook uh, lead ads create uh, spreadsheets row google sheets and send email into gmail so basically they give you every step that you want depending on whatever you want for us as, as an example or as we said we would like to connect zapier to wordpress so let's just as an example type it here i would like to uh, like connect zapier to so i would like to connect zapier to wordpress as an example and hit the enter button and as you can see they are generating now at the moment so we'll have to do or to wait a bit so as you can see connects wordpress to zapier uh, the first step is simply go to wordpress and make a new post and of course here you'll be able to create zap reports and the zapier manager so basically how to do that of course you can simply go and click on create zap and once you do so here you'll have to do the trigger of course and the action you'll be able to add those whenever you want of course so basically here you'll have to create a new new zap depending on whatever you want and then of course make sure to choose your trigger as we said so for you and your zapier dashboard of course or uh, the, the trigger app will be of course wordpress so here you'll have to go and choose wordpress 
as you can see, we find it here. So here, of course, once you select or, or search for WordPress and select this from the list or of available apps, now you'll have to go and choose a trigger event, or which is the action. And here, of course, you will have to like select the trigger event that will initiate the automation. For example, you can choose new posts as they uh, told us before. So as an example, let's just go and do new posts or let's just go, to, of course, first of all to WordPress. And of course, in this WordPress, we'll be able to change it to choose events here. We can simply go and do a new post so or create a post. Why not? And as you can see, click on continue here. So now what we'll have to do is simply sign in into our WordPress account and we'll be good to go. So click on sign in here. And as you can see, they'll open this pop-out for us here. We'll have to simply go and connect that. So as you can see, it allows up here to access your WordPress account. Here, as you can see, enter your full publicly accessible WordPress URL with leading HTTP or HTTPS. Do not include the WP admin and WP login PHP. And of course, if your WordPress site has a custom login URL, please do not include the custom URL value, for example, uh, the as example like this, and instead of like uh, example like slash login as your base URL value. So simply enter that here. Then you'll have to enter your username. As you can see, this username or the username or email you uh, you use to log in. If one does not work, you can try another. And here you'll have to enter a password and then click on yes, continue to WordPress as an example. Once you do so. Or let's just fill those as an example. I'll just like put this. So here, once we get this as example, we can simply go and do it here. And I'll change this example with test. For the username, I'll just put like test36987. And the password, of course, I'll just put something like, I don't know, from 1 to 10 or something like that. So let's just add some numbers here and click on yes, continue to WordPress. And let's see. So we'll have to wait a bit until this finish. Of course, uh, for you, you'll have to uh, like set up all your trigger options and then you'll be able to set up uh, or test the trigger. Like after setting up the trigger, Zapier will test like the connection to ensure it's working correctly. If successfully, you will see a confirmation message. Of course, now it's the time to choose like the action app. Uh, which app that will perform an action based on the trigger. And this could be like uh, Gmail, Slack, or any other supported by Zapier. And of course, you'll be able even to set up some actions. Uh, as an example, they are telling me an error because I entered like a random URL as I showed you, I entered a test. So don't worry about that. Just enter your things. Then you'll have to sign in into your WordPress account and you'll be good to go. So as I said, after that, you'll have to set up an action event, customize the action, set the Zap, and turn on your Zap. And that's going to be it for us. So if you reach this point of this video, congratulations. You've successfully connected Zapier to WordPress in 2023. With this integration, you can automate, of course, various tasks on your WordPress website, saving you time and effort. So remember, remember of course, to regularly review and monitor your apps to ensure they are functioning as intended. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.